Uh, you busy? Not too busy. What's going on? I just left Trinity Church. I was thinking about Finn. And... Uh, Tell me about it. She saved my life. And yours. Everybody's. But she's the one who put us in danger in the first place. After seeing what happened to Rick... I get why she did it. People are messy. Take your Uncle Aaron. He's the reason Creeper's in jail. And he helped us get people out of Harlem. But every time I look at him... I think of all the pain he put your dad through. Yeah. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, Miho. Or her death. Just remember who she was, and why you loved her. You always know what to say. <laughs> That's my job. Call me back if you need me. Entiende? See, si. Te quiero. No eres tan... Hey! Uh, is this Spider-Man? It's Dale, from the bodega. Hope this is an okay time to call. It's Dale, by the way. <laughs> from the bodega. <laughs> hey, Dale. What's up, man? Hey, listen, Spider-Man. My Spider-Man, you know, my cat, he took a liking to you. Oh, yeah, I like him too. Good cat. So, you know, I just wanted to say, if you wanted to come by and hang out with him sometime, or, like, take him for a walk or a swing or something, <laughs> you know, that, that'll be okay. That's all I'm saying. For sure. I'd love to chill with him. Thanks, Tail. Oh, man, that's great. I'd love... I mean... He'd love that. <laughs> Gonna tell him now. You're a good one, Spider-Man. See you soon. <laughs> Tails great, man. I love that guy. Bet I can sell this. Oh, I think I know that guy. Maybe. Give me the hammer. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. You are man. What's up? Hey, Spider-Man. Thanks for fixing the trains. Great news. Roxxon's been telling everyone how you saved Spider-Man. You ready to swing, Spider-Cat? You two look great. Get out there and stop some crimes, you two. Must be nice to not have to... I can't wait to hear what you get up to. Man, I'm tired. Great news. Roxxon's prototype labs in Manhattan are kaput. And so are their reactors. Finally! With the labs and Krieger gone, feels like Roxxon's butt has been firmly kicked. I bet they'll be staying out of sight for a while. Good, because I don't want to drain any more reactors. You said it, buddy. But I'm glad we were able to do this together. Me too. Until our next adventure? Which will probably be five minutes from now, right? <laughs> Deal. Hey, Miles. I'm catching up on... Yikes. Kind of a backlog after being away for a few weeks. No rest for the Spider-Man? Nope. Speaking of which... I'm not going to be swinging behind you constantly looking over your shoulder now that I'm back. I trust you. And I have some stuff I should take care of. Like what? Can I help? I need to find a job. Freelancing with the Bugle was great, but I'd like something steady. Have you thought about teaching? You're pretty good at it. <laughs> Honestly, no. Hmm. No. Maybe? I'll think about it. Call you soon. It has been a good week for Harlem. Spider-Man stopped the tinkerer. Rio Morales was elected to city council. Roxxon Plaza is closed for good. And Simon Krieger is in jail. Boom! Ha! Bonus, I passed my citizenship test with flying colors! Still love you, China. Gonna miss your candy. Okay, back to business. In an attempt to save face, Roxxon's board released all of Krieger's personal documents. Memos, emails, real fun stuff. 
Well, I'm combing through those docks and uh, waiting to hear Triple J eat crow on air. I'll be playing unreleased, pre-recorded casts. Fresh material coming in a few weeks, and in the meantime, remember to sing to your plants while you water them. Seriously, they love it. Okay, bye, see you soon. Listeners, you all know that I pride myself on truth, integrity, and facts. I've been tough on this new Spider-Man since the disaster on Braithwaite Bridge. For good reason. The kid screwed things up so bad, even the original model would have blushed redder than his costume. The classic one, not that ugly new thing. But today, I must also acknowledge that the city is rallying around this youngster and proclaiming him uh, a hero. <sighs> With an unstable energy source on the verge of wiping Harlem off the map, this youthful fighter reportedly stepped in and saved lives. Or at least that's what his supporters want us to think. The real truth is that none of this would have happened if he hadn't donned a ridiculous suit and started swinging willy-nilly around the city, performing reckless acts of violence. Hero? More like... Zero! Ah! Jared, open up the lines. I want to hear from those who agree with me. Jared? I said open up the lines. What do you mean they're open? Well, something must be wrong. Folks, we're having technical difficulties. Please stand by. Files! I did it! I figured it out! How to safely split an atom from the comfort of your own home? That's next on my to-do list. No, speed nonagon. Collision model is updated, projectile physics is fixed, frame rate stabilized. It's awesome now. Which means I can play it? Uh, it still needs textures. Sound effects, music, VO. I'll write the music. I could probably do sound effects too. First we improve and design our own spider suit. Now we build a mobile game empire? We're unstoppable. Never doubted it. I'm not doing spider things. When I get home, I'll set up a task board, start tracking out sound effects you'll need. Ooh, and sketching out a score. Yeah, woo! Can you feel that? That's me fist bumping you from afar. Later, dude. Hey, bro. I read MJ's front pager about some Caria. Not while you were swinging, I hope. Uh... Sorry. Scolding mentor mode, downshifting. Hell yeah, I voted What did you think of the article? The article was great. The pictures? Eh. Yeah. Where did they get this Peter Parker guy? <laughs> I'm sure MJ asks herself that all the time. So how was the trip? Did you have the suit up while you were out there? Nah. Sable handled it like a champ. Her and her wild pack. I mostly got to stand around taking pictures. Well, sounds like a nice break. As much as a work trip can be. Oh yeah. I'm feeling refreshed and ready to do some next level Spider-Man. And clean out the gutters at my house. The homeowner is glamorous, let me tell you. Sounds like it. I'll let you go. Talk soon. Voicemail. Numbers blocked. Hey, Miles. I know you're gonna hear a lot about me. Things I've done, now that I'm serving time. I cut a plea deal, so it shouldn't be more than two years. But getting out early, it's not why I gave up Krieger. You told me you had to be better. And that meant looking out for other people, even if it cost you something. I don't have a lot of practice. But I'm trying. Thanks, kid, for making me a better man that I could be on my own. Take care out there. Love you, Uncle. On this very special episode, I'm joined by newly elected councilwoman Rio Morales of Harlem, who has been instrumental in the effort to scale back Roxxon's expansion plans following the revelations that they endangered New Yorkers with their highly unstable energy source, New Form. Welcome, Councilwoman. Thanks for having me, Mr. Jameson. I have to say, I was surprised when you reached out to my office. My producer, Jared, was insistent that we have you on. Something about needing to broaden our demographics, especially after your recent appearance on another much less popular show. Oh, yeah. Danica Hart was wonder. My listeners would like to know, how do you plan to bring prosperity to your community? 
I think I speak for everyone when I say it's an area that has struggled for quite some time. True prosperity isn't brought in from outside by huge faceless corporations. It comes from sustained investment in the people that make our community so special. It's true that folks here have struggled, but that's only because they've lacked advocates in City Hall. I will be their voice. And my hope is with that support, the city and the world will see that we're a vibrant area full of brilliant artists, kind people, and now, even our very own Spider-Man. About that, you are now a publicly elected official. You are obligated to serve according to a constitution, laws, and time-tested ethical requirements, which I'm sure you respect. How can you reconcile that responsibility with your support of a vigilante who isn't bound by any of the same safeguards? Spider-Man is not our enemy. He's a New Yorker like the rest of us, and he's just trying to do what's right. And if you ask me, he couldn't be doing a better job. That doesn't replace my obligations to my community, nor anyone else's who serves in a public role. But I do sleep easier every night knowing that he's out there, helping us all pick up the slack. I'm happy to spend all day arguing why that sleep could easily become a nightmare. But we're out of time. And your approval polls are very high. So I'll just say thank you, Councilwoman. Jared will be sending you some lovely parting gifts, including my J. Jonah Java, the decaf substitute doctors like mine are insisting their patients of a certain age drink. If you down it fast, you almost believe it's real coffee. Jameson out. Hello, friendly neighborhood. It's your Spider-Man. <laughs>